In this video, I'm going to explain three muscles that can be caused for low back pain. This one is multifidus. Multifidus. This one is quadratus lamborum. Quadratus lamborum. This is gluteus medius. These three muscles are very important for low back pain and tight low back. However, I want you to understand, these three muscles are not only cause for low back pain. You know, low back pain is very, very complicated symptom. So, that can be from other muscles, maybe tight hamstrings, maybe tight gluteus maximus, or maybe it's from herniated disc. Low back pain can be from many causes. However, these three muscles can be caused for low back pain. Let's look at one by one. Okay, let's look at multifidus. This is very, very deep muscle. It is the deepest layer of back muscle. Since this is very big and thin muscle, main function is not movement for spines. Of course, it does move spine. However, I think a more important role is stabilization for spines. So, if multifidus gets tight or dysfunction, that can affect lumbar spines. By the way, multifidus goes all the way up to cervical spines, so this can lead to tight thoracic spines and cervical spines. But I think tight multifidus can affect lumbar spines more than cervical spines and thoracic spines. Plus, it leads attaching on sacrum. So what happens if Multifidus gets tight. That can inhibit movement of sacrum. This looks very, very important, right? Main function is stabilization. If it doesn't work very well, that can aggravate movement of lumbar spines. Now, that can lead to low back pain. Let's move on to the next one. Next one is this one, quadratus thrombolum. Quadratus lamborum. It attaches on pelvis, lumbar spines, and 12th lift. This is very wide muscle. So what happens if this muscle gets tight? That can inhibit movement of pelvis. It can inhibit movement of lumbar spines. And rib cage. You know, these are very important structure for movement and stabilization. What if these structures get inhibited? That can lead to pain. That can lead to tight low back. I personally love this muscle because tightness of this muscle can lead to tight low back and low back pain. This is very, very common. Quadratus lamborum is very important for low back pain. Let's move on to the next one. Next one is this one. This is gluteus medius. Gluteus medius. Actually, it is not a core muscle. It is hip muscle. However, since it attaches on pelvis, that can inhibit movement of pelvis. If pelvis doesn't move, doesn't move, that can inhibit movement of sacrum, right? Because it is connected. Now, if sacrum doesn't move, lumbar spines cannot move. Of course, other gluteus muscles can inhibit movement of pelvis and sacrum, such as gluteus maximus or maybe gluteus minimus however as i said in first part 
Of course, low back pain can be from other reasons. However, I think gluteus medius is very important for tight low back and low back pain. So, review of today's video. What are three muscles that can be caused for low back pain? Martifidus, very deep back muscle. Quadratus lamborum, that attaches on pelvis. Lumbar spines and ribcage. Last one is gluteus medius. I personally focus on these muscles a lot. That's why I introduced these three muscles today. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.